The spotlight on centre-half forward Paul van der Haar playing game number 150. Van der though, was not completely happy with his own fall. Well, I remember my 100th game and that wasn't a real uh, good game either, so maybe I'll, maybe, nah, those games of uh, the, 50, the 50 has come up and maybe uh, might be going bad for them. I think we just kept enough in front of them all the time. I think we were half a dozen goals in front of them all the way in the last half, so keeping it at even speed with them should be uh, a you know, good chance of us looking like playing it off maybe again in the grand final this year, but still it's like a long way to go, I think. Uh for the clash of the league heavyweights, Hawthorne and Essendon, the sides that have contested the last two VFL grand finals with one win apiece. Going back to 1970, the Hawks have by far the better record, winning 21 out of their 34 encounters, while perhaps strangely, the Hawks and the Bombers have met only three times at league headquarters, Essendon winning their last up when they defeated Hawthorne by 14 points in the first game of the season. Both teams were strengthened for today's match. Madden, Van der Haar, Carey and Nagel coming back for the Bombers, while Robertson and Hawthorne were, uh, and Matthews were Hawthorne inclusions, Matthews needing five goals for a career tally of 900. With me in the commentary box is Lou Richards, and tonight we pick up play at the start of the second quarter, Essendon leading by one point. Second quarter from VFL Park, Essendon leading by one point, 22 plays 21. As umpire Peter Cameron comes in to bounce it and start proceedings in the second stanza, knocked down by Deere, he's done well in that ruck against Madden. Picked up by Russell Green, Green's kicked to half forward, the mark taken by Lee Matthews. Matthews at centre half forward, he's gone for a pass, looking for Knights, can't find him or Byrne, backing up well as Weston at the back of the pack. Weston chips it in short. Brian Wood in the left back pocket now will clear it for Essendon. There's no Hawthorne play within 10 metres. He could have run a little bit further. Elshaw and Lester Smith. Elshaw on his own takes the grab. Carey fumbles. Back to Elshaw. Held it for a fortnight. And he, uh, he's penalised. And the free kick will go to Lee Matthews on right centre wing. Matthews to put Hawthorne into attack. Malaxos. Good mark. No, he hasn't played it. Loveridge, Deer, Malaxos again. Two Essendon players are there, they could have raffled it. Comes to Simon Madden. Lester Smith takes the mark, pops one right in the gob for his corner. Four marks to Lester Smith. Certainly one of the most improved defenders in the Hawthorne side. Trying to find Brereton, Walsh is there with him. Out of bounds, and a boundary throw in at the right half forward flank for Hawthorne. Madden and Deer. Again one by Deer. Picked up by Baker for Essendon now. Baker, always an elusive player and seems to finish each game with a couple of goals. Lester Smith claiming the mark. It wasn't anybody's really. And umpire Tony Bryant on the centre wing has decided it will be a bounce. Ground in absolutely ideal condition here this afternoon. Had some rain yesterday morning. Spring-like conditions and a crowd of nearly 50,000 for this game. Ball knocked into the open spaces. Picked up by Chris Mew, looking for a hand pass. Finally goes for a pass out to Deer. Not a good one. Green gets ridden into the ground, and he'll get the free kick. And we're just over the two-minute mark of the second quarter. It's a point the difference in favour of the Bombers. They're 22 points to Hawthorne, 21. A low-scoring game. Walsh off, Brereton pushed him out the way and the umpire spotted that, Cameron got him and it'll be a 15 metre penalty Walsh out there at half back puts the ball across the centre field at the back is Danaher and a great mark he can never hold this fella down for long he goes for a pass out there wide, knocked away by Clark Kennedy went down, well backed up by uh, Watson. Over it goes to Carey, a long kick up there towards Van der Haar. The back flies, the ball hits the deck again. Grabbed by Baker, this looks dangerous, it could be a goal. Yes, it's a goal. Number two for Baker. Two goals for Baker, and the Bombers move on to four goals, 4.28. The Hawthorne, three goals, 3.21. Well, the writing was on the wall for that goal, for sure. It certainly was, and Baker, as I said, always finishes up with a handful of goals. He's got two already. A very elusive player, very skillful, certainly knows where the goals are. Certainly does, Pete, and uh, Baker, of course, was a sensational player in the finals last year for uh, the Bombers. Three and a half minutes have gone now in the second quarter. Essendon increased their lead, 4-4 to 3-3. The Bombers by seven in our match of the day. Seven points the difference with the Bombers in front, and they're kicking to the end, I think, that is favoured by the Breeze. Not very strong, but enough to help out. 
It's Green driving uh, Hawthorne back into attack. It's Matthews got the mark. He's doing all right this quarter. He's had three possessions. The crowd giving him cover here, but that won't worry him. Possibly make him play better. And it's a beautiful pass to Boone, but he fumbled. He's got a chance to recover. He does. Hooks the ball, looking for Brown in the front posse at the back as Knights. Danaher playing down there in defence. He's picked at centre half forward. He gets all over the place. It's Neagle back to Danaher. Punches the ball on again. It's picked up by Matthews. He's killing him down there in this quarter. A shot by Malaxos, and it'll be a goal to Ripper. And that all came about through Lee Matthews. As you said, Lou, the more they're doing, the better he plays. Well, it's four goals, 3.27, Hawthorne to Essendon, four goals, 4.28. Essendon, five goals, 5.35 to Hawthorne, 4.327. 14 minutes gone of the second quarter. That'll be a free kick down there to uh, Kennedy. Penalty free kick as he boots the ball back to the half-back line. Punched away by Madden. Ball going for the boundary line again, but it's a little bit further around towards the Essendon goal. Pete said before, 48,000 here today and a perfect uh, day for football. Not a cloud in the sky. So there's no excuses for mistakes. We see Walsh kick the ball back. Now that's Lux of Fortune. And it's marked there by Van der Haar, about 45 metres out from goal. And he could easily kick this one, Van der Haar. He's already kicked one. One of the longest kicks in the league when he gets onto them. His last goal was the shortest goal I think he'd ever kicked, That's Luke. right. I think it was about three centimetres. Yeah. Here he goes now. It's a long kick. Now that's a beautiful kick by Van der Haar for a goal. So it's uh, Hawthorne in trouble. Four goals, 3.27 to West, but starting to look good again. Six goals, 5.41. Two goals to Van der Haar, two to Merritt and two to Baker. And they're three of Essendon's best players at the moment. And of course, bracketed in there, you'd have to put Gary Folds. He has been a real stumbling block for Hawthorne across the half-back line. Van der Haar playing game number 150, two goals in the second quarter. Seven's big league now from VFL Park, 15 and a quarter minutes gone. And the difference now, 41 plays, 27, 14 points in favour of uh, Essendon, knocked out by Madden. He's starting to come good as it comes back there to Watson, fumble the ball. A bit of a stack up there, but it's tucked coming out, but he runs into a brick wall. Kicked down by Elshaw over the half forward line. Hazard's got it, and the Bombers are getting their run going as it goes out wide to Nobby Clark, and he's only about 45 metres out from goal. Clark well within kicking distance, and a chance to bring up his first goal. And Essendon seventh. Essendon's disposal in the second quarter has improved immeasurably. The Foster's Cup, their rod on game, was stopped by their opponents. Hawthorne did the same in the opening term, not able to do it now. That's a mammoth kick. Great goal. Essendon go further ahead at BFL Park. And the scoreboard on Sevens Big League. 7 5 47. The Bombers by 20. The Hawks 4 3 27. And the Bombers starting to look good. They're getting their act together now and they're looking for their teammates. They're running faster. And they've had many good players this last quarter of an hour of this second quarter. Yes, they're, as I said, their disposal has improved 100% in this quarter. That's made the difference. It's 20 points the difference now. Seven's big league, second term action. 7-5 to 4-3 in favour of the reigning premiers. And they look like going on with the job at the moment. Deere and Madden. One by Madden, as Lou said, starting to come into his own. Lester Smith gets the hand pass out, trying to find Bacchanara. Four Essendon players are there. Naturally, they retain possession. The umpire says a trip. It's an Essendon free kick. And it's going to Merv Neagle. Here with Lee Matthews, the two most unpopular players on the field, it would seem. Russo missed it, picked up by Kennedy onto Loveridge, who's playing well for Hawthorne. Loveridge's kick up towards Brereton. Oh, great mark to Danaher. And cops one for his corner. Neagle. Neagle at centre field. Long kick. Looks for Harvey. Green. Ezard backing him up. Caught. Onto Harvey. Could be a goal. Steadies. Merritt in the square. Through for a point. Or is it a mark? He's playing for mark. He's, He's playing on and goal. Hawthorne players standing still like the Statue of Liberty and Merritt puts it through for a goal. Well, the Hawthorne guy thought the umpire would have set it behind but he didn't. He claimed the mark even though he got the second grab over the line. I don't know how you play that one. There's no doubt about it. The second grab of that mark was over the line. Let's watch it again. So it should be a point, shouldn't it, Luke? Well, there you go. He's got it now. He's grabbed it That over should the be a point. Well, I'd reckon it would be a point. But the umpire knows he's closer than we are, and of course it's a goal, and all the Aston supporters are laughing all the way to the bank. That's right. 8-5 to 4-3. Hawthorne getting a caning at the moment. Aston have kicked five goals so far in this quarter. Hawthorne has kicked one. 
Roger Merritt is their major contributor. He has three and two each to Van der Haar and Baker. Clark has one, and that was a great goal earlier in this term as well. From VFL Park, 18 and a half minutes now into the second quarter. 28 points the difference in favour of the Bombers. The ball kicked down there by Wallace over the half four line, but there's no one there for uh, Hawthorne. An easy mark taken there by Donnell. And there we see uh, Danaher is playing a great game at centre half back after shifted there. And Walsh, of course, has gone to his position at centre half forward, pushed out that time by Kennedy. And that's Russo breaking clear of the pack as he goes for a long kick, but it's Danaher again. And he's looking good. Over to Donnell. That back line looking strong. They're playing on now. They run on game together. And uh, we see a wrestle going on that time between Russo and Harvey. It comes back to Harvey. Well intercepted by Donnell. He's grabbed by uh, Russo again. And the umpire said dropping the ball. 28 points the difference into this second quarter by just over 19 minutes. The ball back out there towards the half forward line. Grabbed by McCarthy. Quickly plays on. Boots the ball up to Matthews and Renee Kink. There's a great mark taken here by Malaxos. He judged it better than the both of them that time. Now Malaxos would be about uh, 35 to 40 metres out, already kicked one goal. And this fella can kick a football, but most West Australians can. So Hawthorne badly needs this goal, trailing by 28 points. Let's see whether the uh, Australian captain can put this one through. That's coming around. Oh, it faded away at the last moment and through for one point. So they move on to four goals, 428 Hawthorne to Western, eight goals, 553. As we approach the 20 minute mark of this, the second quarter, and things are looking mighty good for the Bombers. Yes, well, they're going to finish on top of the ladder. That's one certainty. There'll be three games clear after today, virtually. Burn. Trying to find McCarthy, and does so. McCarthy, good mark. He started in defence on Roger Merritt. He was well beaten there. Merritt took about three grabs and has since kicked uh, three goals. McCarthy moved to the forward line, may have better success. That was a good mark. Lester Smith flying with him, but McCarthy too strong. And a chance to bring up what would be a badly needed goal for Hawthorne because they've been totally outplayed in this quarter by Essendon. McCarthy from 50 metres out has put it through for a goal. McCarthy's first. Hawthorne's fifth, their five goals kicked by five different players, 34 players. For Into the time on period now of the second quarter, Essendon by 19. Picked up by Kennedy over to Lester Smith. He's put Mew under pressure, he'll never pick it up now. It's a chance for Baker to go. He's got a big chance now as he snaps the that's a goal. Is it a point of goal? Hit the post. Hit the post. Oh, there was the chance. He's kicked uh, so far two goals. That could have been number three quite easily. 5-4, plays 8-6, into the last uh, second quarter by 25 and a half minutes. Ball back into play by Ayres. It's a bad kick, this allows Nagel to mark the ball. That's a bad bit of play that time by Ayres. Didn't even look around at all. Quite right. Now we see Nagel from about 50 metres out. The long kick, and that's a mighty kick. Madden at the back's got the set, let's him see him go. He's really got it. Hit the post again, I think, Luke. He's paying the mark. Oh, I don't think that was a mark, even though I nominated that. No. I nominated, but by golly, I don't think he held on long enough, Peter. Let's watch it again anyway. There he goes. He's got it. Then he grabs it. Touch. No. Ah, that wasn't the mark. No, that's... Uh, well, a that's a charity one, I would say. We've yeah. got a couple of interesting ones this quarter. Roger Merritt was interesting, wasn't it? His Cert mark. Certainly was. And now we wait now for uh, Matt to put his first goal on the board. There's the kick, it's a left foot and it's through for a goal. So the Bombers looking good. Nine goals, 6.60 to Hawthorne, 5.434 as we approach the 27 minute mark of this, the second quarter. Which could be easily the uh, grand uh, final uh, dress rehearsal, Peter. There it is again. Now that's a mark. And the crowd booing when they saw it on the screen uh, replay. That was, certainly wasn't the mark in my book. I think the umpire, umpire camera was being very uh, kind about that one back into the centre, so two very doubtful goals to Essendon this quarter with uh, Roger Merritt and Simon Madden scoring them from doubtful marking decisions picked up by Baker who's playing brilliantly for the Bombers knocked away by Ayres from Van der Haar and that could have been a push at the back to Watson, yes it is no doubt about that and Watson will take the free kick and Watson's a pretty good kick at goal perhaps even better from a running shot Watson from 45 to 50 metres out has a chance to really drive the nail into the Hawthorne coffin at the moment. 
got under that one a little bit, should still get the distance, just angling away at the final moment and three for one point. And Watson has now kicked three points. Had plenty of opportunities, especially early in that first quarter. 5-4 to 9-7. 27 points in favour of the reigning premiers who are coasting along quite comfortably at the moment. Langford. Burn and Merritt. Northam players went the wrong way there. Mew tries to get cleared, not having any measure of success. And it will once again be a ball up at centre half forward for the Bombers. Well, we seem to be a little bit rattled at the moment. Just a little bit. Essendon's teamwork is cutting them the ribbons up forward. And too many good players. Essendon, Clark, Loveridge. Back to centre field. Essendon looking a lot faster. Wood. Shoots up the hand pass. Elshaw, this guy's a great shot at goal on the run. Merritt or Madden. Knocked down by Langford. Now here's a chance for Watson. Can he make it a goal? At last he has. One goal, three. Timmy finally cracks it. And as I said, Essendon coasting along quite nicely. 10-7-67. And Hawthorne languishing on 5-4-34. And we rejoin the match now at the five-minute mark of the third quarter. The Bombers still in command and they lead at this stage by 34 points. Back now to VFL Park before 48,000 fans. Few effective players today. That's another 15-metre penalty. Yes, just taking up your comment, Essendon doing it far too easily at the moment, aren't they? Little opposition from Hawthorne. Brereton trying. Folds wins out over the kick. Kennedy. Three Hawthorne players are there. Buccanara gets it back to Loveridge. He's probably Hawthorne's best player at my book. Tuck takes the mark at half forward. Tuck a long way from goal. Sees a lead being made down there by Ede. He takes the mark and shoots at goal. It's going close. A badly needed one for Hawthorne. It's Rodney Eads' first goal, and the scoreboard now 6-4-40. Hawthorne trailing Essendon 10-8-68. Well, Pete, they're certainly not out of the game. They're only 28 points down. Another couple of quick goals, they're back in business again. And once they get their tails up, Hawthorne, they take a lot of stopping. A lot of players are down, though, Lou, which right. uh, they'd have to lift their game immeasurably if they were to kick those quick goals. Well, that's what happens when you kick a couple of quick goals. Players come out of the fog and start playing well. On seven's big league now, we're just past the six-minute mark of the third quarter. It's 28 points the difference in favour of the reigning premiers before an excellent crowd here this afternoon. Knocked down by Madden. Tuck in the road there for Hawthorne. Finally gets the hand pass out to Deer, but umpire Tony Bryant has blown the whistle and we'll see a bounce just wide of the centre circle. Deer and Madden, one by Madden. Watson. Lobs it high to half forward, trying to find Van der Haar. Good use of the body, great mark. Four marks to Van der Haar. He's kicked a couple of goals. One went two centimetres, one went 65 metres. Van der Haar's kick. Into the 10 metre square. Off the hands of the Packer. Scrimmage developing and we'll see a ball up. And into this quarter, the third by just on seven minutes. 10-8, 68, Essendon to Hawthorne. 6-4, 40, a chance for the Bombers to score. It's only a, about 10 metres out from their goal. Umpire balls it up. Knocked out by Ayers. Going after it now as Elshaw kicked it off the ground. Fumbling, knocked on by Walsh. This could be a goal for sure to Harvey. As he's put that through. Good play on the part of Walsh that time. That's Harvey's first goal. And we see the score, 11-8-74, Essendon to Hawthorne, 6-4-4. Well, that was a great bit of play on the part of Walsh. Still one of the most underestimated players in the uh, Essendon side. That was a lovely knockout, spotted uh, Harvey, and he put it through with a lovely left foot snap. Deer limping off for Hawthorne, and he'll be replaced in the ruck by Michael Bird. Seven and a half, just on eight minutes gone of this third quarter. Hawthorne got their goal in this quarter. But the Bombers have bounced back. There we go again. Knocked out by Matt. Comes down there to Weedy, overruns the ball. Picked up by Lover. He's played a darn good game. Peter must agree with you. Mark De Brown. The umpire said he pushed uh, Danaher in the back. It's got a 15-metre penalty. A hand pass coming over to Neagle. Hooks the ball back to the half-forward line. Danaher, uh, Van der Haar goes to the punch. There's Walsh again. And he shows pace for a big fellow. What a kick. A shot around the bounds on the full. I like this fella style. He, he has been ridiculed even by his own supporters. By golly, he played well in the finals and he's starting to come good now. Played a very good game in the Foster's Cup the other night. 
the pack fly, no one can take the mark. Byrne fumbles, he's been a very quiet player today as the ball goes over the half forward line. Rene Kink in front of him on the heads of go for Lee Matthews. Matthews picks it up, the crowd booing like mad. Back to Bacanara, short pass, looking for Matthews, but it's not a good kick coming out to meet it now as Donnell. Everything's bouncing the right way for the Bombers, a short pass, there's three Bombers there together, but that's a bad kick, and Brown's got the mark at half forward, about 70 metres out from goal. Boots the ball across the centre half forward. Knights flies, taps the ball on, goes after it again. Runs in there to Neagle, but he misses him and uh, the ball picked up by Byrne. But too many Eston players there. Nobby Clark over to Foles. The ball kicked back out of the danger zone, up there towards the wing position. Punched away from Walsh by Mew. Grabbed by Rodney Eade. Eade's kick is a long one, up there towards the full forward position. Malaxos couldn't get it now. Matthews is well taken. Set a half back. Up towards Bacanara. I wonder what they'll say about that one. 15 metre penalty. Bacanara started on the bench. He pulled his, well, he pulled his neck out of its socket that time. He's now about 45 metres out from goal. Hasn't scored a goal, and I think this is only be about his first or second kick. Plenty of distance in it, and he's put it through. So Bacanara's first goal. In fact, Hawthorne's seven goals now have been kicked by seven different players. 7 4 46 to 11 8 74. Seventh big league now, the goal kickers for Hawthorne, Malaxos, Bacanara, Tuck, McCarthy, Brereton, Knights and E. Ten and a half minutes gone, third quarter, 46 plays, 74, 7-4 to 11-8 in our match of the day. Nelshaw can't get a clearing kick. Umpire Tony Bryant has decided once again it will be a ball up. Burn wins that one out. Three Essendon players are there. It's left to Neagle. Scouting around the patch beautifully. Neagle hooks it back towards the centre wing position. And he finds out there Elshaw. Elshaw on right centre wing. No one within Cooey. So he'll go long. Looking for Watson. Langford. Langford's kick out towards Tuck. Might even be out of bounds on the full. No, just bouncing inside. And so we'll see a boundary throw in on the right half forward flank for Essendon. Boundary throw in. Madden and Byrne. Mind ball that one. Tap back to Wallace. He's been very quiet this afternoon, hasn't he, Lou? Certainly has, uh, Peter. Tuck's kick is a short one up to the centre wing position. Donnell overruns the ball. Now he's got a second chance. In goes McCarthy to try and upset him. Not successful. Picked up by Baker. Baker lobs it high down towards full forward. Trying to find Merritt. Van der Haas there. Can't take the mark. Merritt could have almost got a free kick. He was grabbed. Picked up by Elshaw right on the boundary line. Merritt and Langford in the front is Harvey. And Harvey comes down with the mark. Harvey about, uh, oh, he's only about 10 metres out from goal. He kicked one goal, that was this quarter as well, and a chance to make it two. So at the 12-minute mark now, Harvey, a chance to bring up Essendon's 12th goal. Well, that was a strong mark by Harvey. Very strong mark. Going for goal number two. There it is on its way, and that's a goal. Seven goals, 4.46 Hawthorne, and they're in the hot seat to Eston. 12 goals, 8.80, into this uh, third quarter by just on uh, 13 minutes. Every time that uh, Hawthorne get a goal, this mob bounces back with one or two more. Harvey going into the pack that time, uh, showed a lot of courage, and of course he was successful to take the mark. Centre bounce again. 13 minutes gone, 80 plays, 46 in favour of the Bombers. And they're looking good on the big lead. Ball tapped out by Madden. Mew comes through the pack, but tumbles. Picked up by Madden, well smothered by Ed, but he lost sight of it. Loveridge hooks it back. Baker couldn't hold the mark, but there's the backup by Wood. That kick is smothered over to Walsh. He steers clear, and this big fella can move as he drives it well down there, looking for Merritt. Got his hands, but couldn't hold the mark. The ball picked up that time by... Uh, uh, 
Thompson over to Merritt. There's a go for Watson. The goal. You can put out your glasses. Great play by the Bombers. And two goals for Watson. And great play by the big fellow. Seven goals for 46. Hawthorne the rest in 13, 8, 86. Great goal. That was great play by Merritt. Yes, it was. And listen and, uh, with Roger Merritt. A great it was a bad effort by Thomas on either Pete. There's a great hand pass, and of course, Watson, Watson had no trouble in kicking that goal. Into this quarter by uh, just on 14 minutes, and they're gradually streaking away. 40 points the difference now, 14 minutes gone in the third quarter. Essendon going for their third successive win over Hawthorne. And the ball hits the deck again. Wallace taps the ball out, tries to get out the pack, does get a kick, but there's the back up again. There seems to be a brick wall there. He got him that time, well tackled. He said in the back. I don't know what Brown could have done that time. I thought, uh, well, it could have been a 50-50 job. So we see the versatility of uh, Hawthorne, of Eston too, because Van Hous now playing down there at centre-half back. That's uh, Baker coming out of the pack. Back over to Mark Thompson, over the half-forward line. Ayers goes down, the ball kicked away. Here's a go for another goal in a moment, I'd say. Elshaw goes down, he can't get clear. Ayers has a wild kick, but there's two more Eston players. Neagle, over it goes to Mark Thompson, back again to Baker. Where are the Hawthorne players? They're not within Cooey. As we see a short pass, Ezard on his own again. They're completely rattled, Hawthorne. They don't know where they're going. They don't know whether it's Friday, Saturday or Sunday. I don't think too many of them are really interested, Lou. Well, there we see Baker breaking clear and a beautiful pass to Wessard. And look where the Hawthorne defenders are, a mile away. And this little fella's got a chance of scoring goal number one for himself. There it is. It won't come around. And now oh, he's got the mark. Merritt again. As I said before, he can play at full forward in the ruck, centre half forward, centre half back. And they can put him down there on the full back line to be a defensive player. By gully, he's improved a lot. He certainly has. And he was a very much maligned player a year or so ago, but he beat that, and now he's bounced right back. One of the big powers of league football. There it is, a goal. So it's uh, Essendon really looking good now. 14-8-92 to Hawthorne, 7-4-46. <laughs> Thirty-one points the difference on seventh big league as we begin the final term from VFL Park, the reigning premiers against the runners-up of last year. Essendon have done it convincingly all day. Although Hawthorne did pick back two points in the third quarter, socket off the ground by Watson, out to Green and Elshaw. For Ezard. Green's kick is a short one. Over the head of Clark. Chance for Byrne to pick the ball up, and the big Hawthorne Ruckman does so. Back it goes to Mew, who's been a quiet player today. Up towards centre wing, knocked away by Van der Haar, picked up by Neagle, got the hand pass out pretty expeditiously to Watson, trying to get around his opponent. Brian Woods' kick is a high one. Kennedy in front, has it knocked away by Thompson. Baker shoots out the hand pass, opens it up well for Harvey, gets a dream bounce, but runs straight into Langford. Now he's got another chance, Harvey, to make it three goals, and he does so. Great play by the young blonde Nesterman player. Did it well. 16-9, 105 to 10-8, 68. He played it well, but he had a little bit of luck. But the mere fact he persisted, that was the most important thing. Everything went his way as you watch it. He's fumbled it here now. But there's a great kick and, uh, a, a, well, let's say it was a good goal. But a little bit of luck went uh, Harvey's way that time. He says they were behind by five goals. Probably the luck wouldn't have gone that way. That's right. He did bring up his third. Essendon by 37 points now going for their third successive win over Hawthorne. Hawthorne won here last year, picked up by uh, Loveridge. Now it goes to Neagle. Danaher. Watson. Watson's kick is high and long, down towards centre-half forward. Green and Ezra. Green, two hands to it. No mark to either player. The umpire calling play on. Green out to Chris Bew. Kick is wide out towards the boundary line and, in fact, could even be over the line. Donnell gets to it first, though. This time it's out of bounds, and the boundary umpire says out on the full, it'll be a free kick to Hawthorne to be taken down there for them by John Kennedy. Well, Kennedy has the ball down there at half-back, 37 points the difference in favour of Essendon. Hawthorne did pick him back by two points in that third quarter, but that's not enough. It's Watson, he's had plenty of kicks today. Over to uh, Robertson, who's been a very quiet player, even though he's kicked one goal. Oh, a trip by uh, Walsh. Well, he stopped him in his tracks, that was a bad hand pass by Mew. There's one in the back to Timmy Watson. He and Merritt 
shaping up as their two best players, or the two best players on the ground. Hand pass to Neagle, and this fella can really fire when he gets going too. It's a long kick looking for Madden Langford at the back. The ball punched on, scouting out now as Elshaw, snap and goal, and this will be okay. Another one there, screaming away the Bombers. 10 goals, 8.68, Hawthorne to Western, 17 9, 111. That's two goals to Elshaw, and the Bombers showing their real class this first five minutes of uh, football in the last quarter. That's how to rove it at the back. He was the only player there, Luke. That's right. Well, they play as a team. They use their brains, whereas Hawthorne are uh, completely rattled. They have been rattled since about uh, 10 minutes into the second quarter. 48,000 people here today. Of course, the Bomber fans would be enjoying every moment of it. Just on the three and a half minute mark of this last quarter. And the ball hits the deck now. Wallace tries to get out the pack. Wallace hasn't been a dominating player today. He's had plenty of kicks, but he usually does. Out it goes there towards the half-back flank. This little fella's played well today for Hawthorne. He hasn't had many mates. Loveridge over to Ayres. Short pass. It'll be marked out there at half-back by Mew. Of course, they've been put under tremendous pressure, the uh, Hawthorne defence. They certainly hunt in packs. Uh, as they certainly back up, too. That's the big thing. You can bet your life if one of their players misses the ball. There's two or three other players right on his tail to help out. Waiting now for the ball to come back into play. Byrne and Merritt. Byrne got the tap down. A McCarthy gets clear. It's a short kick. Merritt kicks it off the ground. It's grabbed there by Loveridge again. Over to Tuck. Back to Bacanara. Over to uh, Kennedy. But he's well oh, caught. Oh, oh, beautiful tackle. A tremendous tackle by Harvey. And Ross got one for his corner as well. Ball back in towards the centre square. Ezard. Struck the tackle from Robertson beautifully. Well, sure, he can kick long. This time, he might be slightly off target, though, and through for only one point. No Essendon bombarding the goals early in the final quarter. Four and a half minutes gone, and therefore, would he kick two goals? Two, two goals, one. They certainly don't wait to have a discussion with the umpire once a free kick's made either, Pete, do they? No, perfect example of that was Roger Merritt when he took that uh, controversial mark. I think it was in the second quarter. Kennedy was the flyer. Comes down to Robertson. We can count his touches today on one hand. Russo. Now to McCarthy. McCarthy has left half forward flank. He's gone for a pass trying to find Knights. Who's made the most, shall we say, of limited opportunities yeah. down there. He's taken five marks, Peter Knights. Oh, he's not their worst player, Peter. He hasn't had many chances, you mentioned just then. Knights has kicked one goal. And as you can see from that shot, very close to the boundary line. And about 40 to 45 metres out. on fire for that one, it's a goal, good shot by Peter Knights at the five and a half minute mark of the term, Hawthorne's 11th goal, Essendon lead 17-10, 112 to Hawthorne, 11-8, 74. He's gone 49,000 in today, Pete, which is a good crowd, really, that's the shot by Knights from the boundary line, and he certainly can kick it from that position, Pete. He has good shot, and has played a reasonably good game considering the amount of opportunities he's had up there in the full forward position. Approaching the six-minute mark now of the last quarter, 112 to 74. Suffered away by Lutridge, unfortunately for Hawthorne the wrong way. Mr. Smith put the net out of business with a good hit and shoulder, picked up by Kennedy. On to Lutridge, he's uh, head and shoulders above his Hawthorne teammates and so far as best player is concerned. Michael Tuck now from right centre wing. Tuck up towards the half-forward line, off the hands of the pack of rebounds though to the Eston skipper, Danaher. He's gone right across goal, don't think it'll be dangerous because Harvey's there. Oh, gets it back beautifully to Weston. Ezard and Robertson. Ezard spoons it forward for Watson. Watson chips it forward. Tuck spoiled by Baker. Watson again covering plenty of territory. Looks for the hand pass. Weston, goodness me, what's he doing down there? He could almost kick a goal. He's got the hand pass out to Donnell. Donnell in the Madden. Easy as you like. Madden puts through his second. You're watching seven time at Essendon victory set up for them by a brilliant second quarter in which they kicked seven goals to Hawthorne's two and the Bombers finally running out winners by 36 points. We check the stats now and Essendon we see on top in the marking department, the handballs, the hit outs and also the shots at goal. In the goals at VFL Park this afternoon, Roger Merritt got. Well Kevin, you've got the four points, were you happy with the four? Oh yeah, I, I was really pleased with our players today. I felt that, um, you know, we played on the Tuesday night and, you know, over to Adelaide and back and a late night and that sort of thing, it um, takes it out of you a bit. So, 
all in all, we lost Michael Thompson, who's a running player, very, very early in the match, and that I thought that might have added a bit of sort of running, uh, lack of running to the match that, that I might have been concerned about. But no, I was very pleased with the, the players. Uh, they got to the lead and they hung in there. And you know, as well as I know, when Hawthorne and Essendon play, it's just going to be a real Dow consistent sort of performance from both sides. I think Dow might be the operative word, would it? It wasn't perhaps pretty football after half time. Oh no, well you know, uh, as I said, you know, like it's. Um, out in the ground, it's pretty heavy out there. You know, it's a lot heavier than what a lot of people think that match do that, that ground at the moment. So, uh, and it was um, interesting. A lot of players were slipping over, and I think that they would have sort of they go in pretty hard at the ball, and you know, it's just going to be one of those hard slogs.